So we're in the middle of the Forbidden Forest right now, and something is lurking all around us. All right, if this keeps getting weird, then I'm not going any further, okay? We're gonna turn back. What the f what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look up there, look up there, right next to the tree. Right now? Like legitimately right now? Right now. Go back! Go f Joseph, I've never seen that in my life. What the No, we're in Wendigo territory. There's a Wendigo or something in here. We need to go. What? We need to go. Run, run now. Another day, another dollar. We are here in New Glasgow on another episode. Nervous, but excited. Um, Why are you nervous? I don't know. Run? I'm just always a little, like, nervous. I mean, I feel like that's normal, I don't know. Well, it's just the fact that we're going back. This is a brand new episode, guys. I don't wanna stress you guys enough. I know I've been reposting and kind of posting shorts of our previous stuff, but this is a brand new episode. This is never before seen footage and I will make a reel, you know, with the outcome of this episode, but I think it's just the fact that what happened last time was so bizarre that it's actually scary going back. Mm -hmm. It's not a spot where we got scared, went out, and like, it's a spot where things happened. And we experienced something like weird in that forest. And now today, we're gonna go and finalize that for episode two of Portals to Hell. And we're gonna see if we can dig deeper into this portal because we know there's a demon there or something dark that's holding Catherine back. There's a little girl named Catherine. She was exhumed from her family cemetery in the late 1800s. And because she got exhumed, she got upset and they put her grave alone, alone in the forest. And now like you legitimately have to bring her a toy. We're bringing her this little thing right here. Well, don't show her the ass it's... of it. <laughs> Whatever this is, this key is poopy cow thing, but yeah. To be completely honest, we were driving and we realized we forgot a toy. Yeah. So right away I looked and saw that in our thing. I was like, well, we'll just give her that. Yeah. Because honestly, She's done stuff to the car, even when we did bring her a toy, so I can't imagine what she would do if we didn't bring yeah. her a toy. Yeah, and we bring her a toy every time, so we have every to time. keep doing that. And it's a real thing here in Nova Scotia. There's websites, there's articles about Catherine. The locals, The locals, it. yeah. It's a spot where like severe stuff happens, and we're gonna be going back. This is what the series is about, guys. If you're not following this series, this is a series about portals and the spots we've been to. And we're planning to go back and get updated answers. Currently on route in this winter wonderland. Snow everywhere, so we're gonna have to be warm today. Are you warm? You got all your stuff, you got sweats? I have like 14 layers on, so hopefully we're good. We're not camping here tonight, but we are supposed to have a snowstorm in the next couple of hours, so hopefully yeah. we uh, beat it. Hopefully we don't get stuck in that snowstorm or else that's gonna be... Well, that's happened so many times. Like, people have gotten stuck on that road yeah. in their car, so... That's gonna oh, be that sucky. Just added another layer of stress. <laughs> yeah. Well, you ready? I'm ready. On to the next episode. Hope you guys are ready for this. Don't forget, make sure you hit the subscribe button if this is your first episode. You guys are tuning into this channel. You guys will not be disappointed. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's go. Let's go. What would I do? That would be weird. You'd have to go and get checked because that's what just if weird. I always walked like this? <laughs> what is happening right now? I wanted to walk like you know, like you do in the scary movies, but I ain't that flexible. Well, that's pretty sketchy. You should do that at Catherine's grave. No, I don't think Catherine Keep her would the like hell that. Out. She might join you. No, I think. Well, maybe the crab walk. So one more thing before we hop into this episode, I want you guys to do me one favor okay i made a broadcast channel on instagram i want you guys to go and follow that before we get into this follow me on instagram this is where you're gonna get pretty instant updates with everything it's gonna help you guys out even faster than stories you know 
and some of you guys miss updates that I post on YouTube. Sometimes you miss it that I post on Twitter. So what I want you guys to do, go and follow me on this broadcast channel. It'll update you instantly. And plus, you can engage with that. It's super easy. It's gonna help you. We made a pit stop here, and now we're about to rip out there to Catherine's grave. And uh, let's go, let's lines. go, let's go. Ready? On the count of three, Pakwaji. One, two, three, Pakwaji! No? Yeah. Why don't you like fuck wedgies? Because they, they yeah, I love fuck they wedgies. bring you to your death, man. We're all going to our deaths already. So like Valid. why not just find one, right? So on the count of three, puck wedgie. One, two, three, puck wedgies! Puck nuggies! Puck nuggies! Whose nuggies made of puck wedgies? What? Does that mean my nuggets are made of puck wedgies? It might be. Yikes. This is creepy as hell. So Honestly, it looks kind of pretty right now. It's pretty, but I know what's to come, and it's just like one of those spots. You, like, we really gotta be careful. Yeah, it won't be pretty in about 20 minutes when it no. gets dark. So I should mention too, we're not just going in here. I'm gonna be strapping some POVs on our personal. Whether that's me or you, I got a head mount, I got a chest mount. We're gonna put the phasm camera on one and then uh, the GoPro on the other one. So that's gonna be fun. We're gonna have some personal POVs going on. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna have to rip up here and give her the toy first before she gets pissed. We are ripping. Careful on this road. Whining. 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 What? Maybe Catherine's whining, waiting for her toy. She knows we're coming. Whining. What? She definitely knows we're coming. But well, she's already in the car right now. <laughs> Let's hope not. I mean, Catherine's honestly a sweet spirit herself. She's very sweet. Yeah. Even if she did get in the car with us, it's just the other spirits that are there that are holding her back that aren't so sweet that we don't want coming home with us. Yeah, exactly. Why do I feel, though, that this road gets longer and longer and longer every single time we come here? It's kind of like... It's kind of like it feels like it gets longer and longer so that it makes us want to turn around and not even come here. Yeah, and it's like getting thinner and thinner. This is like an ATV path right now. Yeah, honestly. All right, so we're in four by four now. This might be difficult to get out of. Mm-hmm. Should we have walked this? Dark. Dark. Um, no, I think we'll be okay. I hope. We'll be good. Is that it there? Yeah, yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. There she be. Hi, Catherine. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, let's get her this toy. And let's get the car turned around. Yeah. Before it gets too dark. To start it off, you have that toy? have the toy. Okay. Let's get it to her before she gets upset. Before she whines, like the yeah. app said. It looks like she's had some visitors recently. Yeah, true. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Do you remember us? My name is Lamar. And I'm Chelsea. And we've been here a couple times, well, more than that. We've been here many times to visit you. I'd say probably like five or six times. Yeah, some off camera, there. some on camera but we like to come back to Catherine. All right, Catherine, we have a toy for you. We do. And we're hoping to communicate with you today. I can hold that. Thanks. Got it? Yeah. Okay, sweetheart, I'm gonna give you a little toy. Hopefully you like this one. It's a dog. And I'm gonna try to clean up your other stuff because you can't really see your other toys. Oh, she's got like... She's got new ones, eh? I'm just gonna do it carefully, okay, Catherine? I don't wanna break any of your toys. But, yeah, she's got lots of new toys. That's awesome. A little bird here. 
Ooh, someone left you a chewy bar. A chewy bar. Yo, those things are elite. Yeah. So we have to do this before the storm comes because it's gonna get bad. Not only that, like spiritually, the storm. You know what I mean? This spot is crazy active. I can't stress it enough. I hope this makes you happy, Catherine. You have more access to your toys. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Hey. <laughs> oh, someone left their cup. Oh, cool. And a golf ball. And a golf ball? Nice. Mm -hmm. she wants to go. All right, sweetie, I hope that's okay. There you go. You got some great toys, and I also see some of your toys are missing. Do you think people take them or do they get cleaned out maybe? I don't know if they get cleaned out. Maybe a like, local comes and tidies up maybe. Maybe, but you're not supposed to take their toys. Because there used to be that big toy right here. Yeah, well maybe that's why she's upset because people keep recurringly doing this. You know maybe. what I mean? Maybe, yeah. That could be a reason why she's upset. All right, Catherine, you know the deal. We're going to go into the forest here and maybe that'll make it easier for you to communicate. All right? I get like a um, really peaceful vibe right here. But as soon as I like direct my energy and my eyesight to the forest, I'm like automatically. Whoa, this light. I'm like automatically anxious. Yeah. <laughs> You're anxious right now? Well, yeah, especially with that light just going off again like that. Yeah, that's sketch. That is sketchy. All right, let's go and mount up okay. and then get the adventure started. Let's go. So I'm mounting this phasm camera on here and why is this being weird? So I'm going to mount up with two POVs in my night vision. You're going to be holding the rig. This is going to be recording out in night vision. Then I'm going to have the GoPro over my head. And that is what is going to be going down tonight with POVs. Just to change things up a bit. There we go. Oh boy. So this is what it's going to be tonight. Full on POVs everywhere. <laughs> We're going to be, what? What are you laughing at me Just for? Just your eyes got so big there, like you're so excited. Hey, Lamar, I'm proud of you for wearing your hat right tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh man. So you have something that you found and I want you to say that to everyone so we know. Yeah, so. Um, I was doing some research on Catherine's grave and I came upon this thread on the internet and on this thread it had a lot of other people's experiences that they've had here. So a couple that stood out to me was this one which I don't know how I feel about it but I'll let you guys be the judge for that. They said his name is Adam Buddy. He said yeah I don't really believe in paranormal stuff but I went to the little girl's grave on March 7th, threw my cigarette at it and said it was bullshit. And 20 minutes later, I got hit by a coal truck and broke my neck. So I don't know if this person is trolling or whatnot, but I mean... Wait, that's pretty rude. Yeah, even if he's trolling or not, like, why would you throw a cigarette at someone's grave? Well, even, even if it's haunted or not, even if, like, it doesn't matter if it's, if it's, it's active to that person. Place. It's the girl's there. Exactly, exactly. So, like, of course you're going to get demolished by a truck and break your neck after. So I don't know how, like, true he, if he actually did get hit by a truck or not, but I mean. Karma sucks. That's there's all another say. one that said, um, this one is by another ghost hunter. Um, and they said, nine of us went to this grave tonight. There were tons of toys there. We heard a low growl. So we all took off running back to our cars. Almost everyone heard the growl and there is no way that it was anyone because you could hear it deep in the woods and no one was there. So that's actually a big thing that's known to be heard here are growls. Um, so it says one night I went to the gravestone with two friends. It was a dark and gloomy night. Uh, nothing happened when they were here. What? I heard someone. Like a little giggle. Said so nothing happened to them while they were at the gravestone, but it wasn't until we left and began driving down the dirt road that we had a paranormal experience. We noticed on the front windshield in condensation, a small child's footprint on the glass. It was so detailed and human-like. It scared us quite a bit to say the least. And then the two girls that had gone here had gone to work. A few days after we had visited the site, we were working together and we both heard something truly bizarre. It was the sound of a child laughing. 
Very mm -hmm. faintly, we both stared at each other in disbelief. We had no idea where the sound originated from because there was only the two of them there. I mean, what's interesting about this spot is so many people have the same stuff happen. Touching on the car, hearing growling, hearing things in the forest. I mean, that guy that flicked a cigarette butt at her, I'm sorry, but if you actually did that and you got that karma, then sucks to suck because you don't ever do that. You know what I mean? Whether or mm -hmm. not you believe that something's haunted or not, don't ever flick a cigarette butt at it. I know. At anyone. Like, what are you doing? Not here to talk more about that, but just want to say that it seems to me there's a lot of similar things that happen. So our main goal today is to try and capture, or not capture, but talk to Catherine directly. We only talk to her for like just the smallest bit. And then it always seems like something else comes, mm -hmm. pushes her away to talk. It takes over. We're starting the night now in the forest. Can you join us today? Greed. 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 Are there a lot of greedy people who come here and take your toys? Did you hear that? Oh, yeah, I heard a voice. Yeah. Like in there. Yeah. There's someone in the forest. Like a spirit that leave here. Here. leave here. You know what's weird? Why is it in a little girl voice? I know. Leave here. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you actually sound like, Catherine. I'm not trying to make fun of you. Catherine, are you able to tell us if there's a spirit down there? Is there anyone down there, Catherine? That is awaiting us. I'm alone. I'm wow. alone. Are you alone right now, just up here? I think she's talking about this. Her oh. grave is alone. They exhumed her, and now she's alone. Catherine, if this is you, can you give us a sign? A sound? Or tell us your name through this app? So this is a necrometer. I just got it. It's in testing right now. It's basically... Like investigators. Oh! No. I've never heard it say that. Why don't you like investigators? And, sorry, who doesn't like investigators? Because I know we're appreciated by Catherine, if done respectfully. Sinister. 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 So I feel like that's a response to my question that the, the spirits dark, like deeper into the woods don't like having people invest. Matting. 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 I don't know what that means. Whoa, there's walking. I just heard walking. Oh, yeah. Someone in there? I just said go. Just my go. spirit talker just said go. Oh, yeah. Should we start heading to the forest? No, I think we need to give Catherine one more second. I have this urge that she just needs a second. And maybe she'll tell us something that can help us. Agree. Are you able to tell us something we don't know? We Absolutely. That's a different voice, though. So, Catherine, we're going to give you all the time you need in order to tell us anything that we don't know. Or that could be potentially helpful for us tonight, okay? Is there anything we need to know? that we don't already know. This is weird. It's okay, we're not here to hurt you, Catherine. We just feel like there's someone else here, like a demon or a darker energy that's holding you back. And we wanna figure out who that is. I just heard talking or something from down there. Down there. Okay. Catherine, feel free to fall. Middle. Warning. 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 Okay. All right. Feel free to follow us down there and stick with us if you want. Or if you want to stay up here, that's okay too. All right, let's go. Thank you, Catherine. Thanks, sweetie. 
poems, I get a, I get a weird vibe. You get a weird vibe? Yeah. Like, um, watch your back. Watch your back. Like, I don't know if we're gonna hear that clapping or the giggling, but there's a very good chance we're gonna hear something. I want revenge. I want revenge. I want revenge. What about that guy? She wants revenge against that guy that Maybe. flicked that cigarette against her. Protection. Catherine, you're gonna appear for us if we go in here? Abandoned. Abandoned, she's talking about herself. She was abandoned here. Catherine, do you have any communication with your family now that you're all together? What the f was that? I heard f talking. I heard a man. That sounded like really close to us. Yo, what the hell, babe? Right. Let's go around this. You okay? Yeah, it's just. You okay to go over that? Yeah, my little legs. There's a darker energy down here. What are you doing down here? You good? Yeah, I'm all right. I just feel sick. You feel sick. Are you able to tell us your name? Anyone who's here, can you tell us your name, please? Those are deer. Like a, a deer or bunny. Or, or bunny. Something. Those are bunnies actually. Where do we go down here to find you? Message. Message. I'm so nervous right now. Like what if we're gonna hear that stuff? Honestly. Follow us ahead. Follow us ahead. Follow us ahead. And didn't you just ask where to go? Yeah. Follow us ahead. Okay. All right, we gotta go through here. Wait. What? Abigail. Abigail. What? What did you just see? What the? F I don't even know how to explain that. I just saw like a black mass just dart this way. The same black mass I saw when we got here in the car. Okay. I don't have a good feeling about this forest. I don't even think Catherine's safe. Catherine, we're gonna try and help you out the best we can. We gotta figure out a way down to where we were. We just gotta get around this tree, so just cut a right when you can. Sorry if I scared you. <laughs> oh my God. Who, who did I just see? Process. Process. Oh. Is there someone running down there? I just saw someone running down there. Yeah, it wouldn't that be. That was weird, that was like a child. Yeah, it wouldn't be that surprised. That just sh shook my body. It looked like a, like a three foot thing just running, like a kid playing. Holy sh! Kind of sounded like a, like a bit of a whistle or something. Eighteen hundreds. Eighteen hundreds. 
That's her. She died in late in the late 1800s. Catherine, thank you so much. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I got a bunch of snow down my back. That doesn't sound like a kid if that's what you heard. Big things everywhere. Guys, I don't think this is a good idea. We just entered the forbidden forest and it is not a good sight. Why does it look different? I don't know. It looks so different. Like I thought this is where we camped because they're around here. Amazing. Somewhere. We camped somewhere around here. Court. Court. If this is a portal to hell, give us a sign. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look up there, look up there, right next to the tree. What did you I can see? There's someone standing right there. Right now? Like yeah, legitimately right now? Right now. Who is that? Non-human. Non-human. Literally says non-human. What the hell? You're not human? He's not there anymore. What do you look like? I can't Shit. tell. All I could see was like a dark silhouette and then when I pointed the light you could see like a face but it didn't look like a face. It, it was a little too far to figure out. But it was right next to the far tree in there and he was just standing right next to it with his head tilted. Damn. Yo, that freaks me out. Usually I don't get like scared seeing spirits but like... Yeah. Okay, let's keep tracking. Ah. Ah. Shit. Yo, this is trippy. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Go back. What the f Joseph, I've never seen that in my fing life. I thought that was only in movies. A couple. A couple. A couple. What, what, do you have to explain to me what you just saw? <sighs> that scared the shit out of me. I need a moment. I need a fucking moment. I thought that was only in movies. You have me on edge. You gotta tell me what the hell you saw. Please. Okay. My, my blood's boiling right now. There's like a cryptid here. Like a Wendigo? No. Well, yeah, kind of actually. I'm not even, I'm not joking. Everyone watching this right now, I'm not joking right now. I, I swear. There was something crouched down. Like it almost looked like a homeless man. Crouched down like this. Like fiddling with something like almost like he was trying to eat, like survive. It was like a skinny man. Lyricist. I'm not joking Chels. Like that scared me and like I saw it right there in the corner of my eye and it was for sure that. And then when I looked, gone. And it, it f noticed me. Whatever it was, it noticed me. <sighs> oh, these cameras are going to do any justice. Okay. Just both of us right now. Let's just I go. I just what? Nothing. Nothing. Let's just. I don't mean to freak out, but that I've never seen that in my life. You're valid to freak over, freak out over that. That free. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Whatever it is is down here. Ah. October. 
Didn't you come here one October? Yeah. This is where we camped. Right there, Charles, is where it was. Who were you? What was your name? What is your name? And why are you watching us? Tick, tick, tick. There's Getting a clock. a clock again? You got this last time. Mm -hmm. There's a clock. No, 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 no. We gotta go down this path. No. no. There's something moving. I know, just come back. It looks like an back. animal or something, Chelsea. Just come back for a sec. What? We gotta go down that path. I know, but we need, I, I just, as soon as you started walking over there, something told me to get you back here for now. Let's just come up with a game plan. Shit, man. That actually threw me off. No, you didn't just hear that? Okay, so we're currently having some camera issues. The GoPro is glitching right now. It's, it's legitimately glitching. And I, don't know what the fuck that is, but... I just heard another scream coming from down that path that you want to go down. This is a game changer, Chelsea. We're actually going to be going right down that. I, I think we just need to be really careful. Especially after our light, our night last night, too, Ohms. Mm. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack up this camera. I'm going to pack up this camera. It keeps okay. freezing. Okay. So we're going to roll with just the night vision or the two night visions in this camera. Are you good to do that? Yeah, that sounds good. I just, I need you to be really careful because I feel like something is a bit of a trap. This, I, I, I've never seen that before with my own eyes. That is actually really crazy, Chelsea. I know. Welcome to my life. And I know it was so I know it was that. Okay, I need you to promise me something. What? If at any point the clock that I hear is going tick 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 like click click click, you need to listen to me and we need to get out of here. Mm. Because you know what that clock means. It only comes when yeah. we need to leave. Are you hearing whistling I've at been... different times? I, I hear whistling. Mm -hmm. Now, can any animals like whistle or make some sort of noise not like that it was uh, what i just heard before we started filming this was just like a right now like before mm -hmm. you hit record yeah because i know owls can make certain noises kind of like that but not not like what we heard Catherine, are you still with us right now i don't feel your energy what are these footprints? Those are an animal. Are the deers or something? They're like poofs. Mm, I don't know. Maybe a moose? Not a moose. Look at look at though. Let's let's see. Those are too small to be a moose. This one right here. Could be a coyote. It's definitely the paw of some sort. Most likely a coyote or a fox. I feel like Catherine can only come to a certain point and then she's like restricted. Yeah. Like I don't feel her with us anymore. What's weird is that, did I just see a shapeshifter? Do you remember that time when we were at Buck Hill and you saw that thing, like, like a wolf, like a person go behind the dirt pile? What the f Something just f touched my shoulder. Remember that time at Buck Hill when you saw the man go behind the dirt pile and then you, we, we all went and oh then it was God, an yeah. animal? That's right. Did it was I a just wolf. a wolf? Did I just see like a spirit animal that was that I like I saw the actual man, but these hoofs or the footprints were the spiritual animal. Possibly. To him. Yeah. That makes sense. It does make sense. Oms, I I Hold on. If you want to go, I'll go over here and you can stay in the open part. No, I'm not staying alone. 
Okay, follow me then. There's something here that I want to. There's something here that I want to figure out. It's right here. Just make sure you don't slip. Something over here. Ohms, I get a really bad feeling. Like our backs, we're vulnerable. Just be mindful, that's all. Hello? Spirit Talker just said we have power. We have power? What kind of power? We're also right near the stream, so. Trying my best to not wobble so much, but. Damn, we do this for you guys. I know you don't ask us to, but we do it for you guys because you like it so much. But there's something here that I feel needs to be answered. And I'm just so eager to figure that out. Right now, I think I just saw a spirit animal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What? I'm Look, there's more footprints that came all up and down here. We had You see that? There's like something that's stepping all up down here. Yeah. The footprints carry from where I saw that thing. So apparently her house is back here too, eh? What? Her yeah. house? Yeah, apparently Catherine's like family land was back here. Which mm -hmm. is why they also buried her like along that path. I know the cemetery is close. Yeah. This goes into denser forest. Yeah. Come your head. I'm gonna walk up here. Look, it gets better. You good? Yeah, I'm Where are you? We're not talking to Catherine anymore. I feel like we're going into a portal. to go this far. No. Alright, if this keeps getting weird, then I'm not going any further, okay? We're gonna turn back. This might be one of the stupidest things we've ever done. Chase a f demon. If you guys missed the previous episode here, check the description. I'll post all of them. We know there's a demon or something here. A gray being. He will push. What'd that say? No, it's not the spirit chakra, it's me. You got a message saying he will, he push? will push? That's weird, I kept feeling like something was pushing me up that hill. Margaret. Hi, Margaret. <sighs> Are you the same Margaret we encountered last night? Oh. <sighs> My arm is numb. <sighs> so we're in the middle of the Forbidden Forest right now, and something is lurking all around us. I feel it. I straight up feel it right now. You all right, honey? Yeah. I just don't really feel safe. It's not the best feelings to have when you're in the middle of the deep woods, but uh, I don't know. I feel like we need to get away from the hill. I feel like we can trip or something. Do you want to make your way up that way? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to break from that cam? Yeah, that'd okay. be really nice. Okay.
Yo, we're in Wendigo territory, huh? Um, I just got something else. Um, I'm interested in the yeah, so we're enjoying this in Spirit Talker. What'd you get? Um, tricksters, be careful, they play tricks. So, sometimes you shouldn't go where they call you. They play tricks. <sighs> comforting, eh? Very comforting. Um, oh, no. no, no, no. Turn that on. Holy sh that's weird. Turn that on, just turn it on. This is this is a hundred percent Wendigo territory. There's a Wendigo or something in here. For what I saw, I know for a fact that was something moving. I saw that. I believe you because I've been seeing stuff too since we got here. Thank you for verifying. <laughs> Cause I know a lot of people are gonna be like, yeah, bullshit, but when you're actually out here, it's a different story. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think we need to start just going up. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Let's just be quiet maybe for a sec. Okay. See if we can hear anything. You okay, hon? Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can get anything else. Like visuals or messages or anything. I'm gonna put this filming behind us. That just said the other skin. Yeah. Catherine, are we close enough to talk to you again? I keep getting this like visual and it's it's a message but I can't fully like pinpoint it but it's like a young girl with long dirty blonde reddish hair like auburn with a, a man and the man's holding her hand and he's guiding her into the forest like deeper no way yeah but it looks like she's willing to go like it's not a fight, it's just she looks happy and she's getting guided down by this man. But I can't see him, he's just in all Shooting. in all black clothing. Wearing a top hat? Yeah, like one of those old school like longer beak fedora type hats. But he's guiding her somewhere. This is completely different than some of our normal episodes where we sit down, set up devices and ask. When you're in these types of environments, it doesn't really go down like that. It's more of an explore and an adventure rather than staying put. You can't just stay put in spots. You have to move. So that's what we're doing here because we have a lot of, we have a lot of forest to cover. I don't even think we're going to be covering it all tonight, but we're going to do our best to do whatever we can. We need to keep moving. What did you just say? We need to keep moving. We need to keep moving? Yes. Follow us right. Is that what you just said? Yeah. We need to move. Follow us right. We need to move. Okay. And I think we need to go left, not right. Oh, I don't know. We're basically following it already. I keep hearing howling. What is this? What is this spot? What the hell? Oh. What just happened? A huge gust blew at me. It literally looks like you walked into a wall. Gust just blew at me. Okay, come on. Are you okay? Are you okay?
scared. You need to go. The f gust just blew at me. <laughs> Who the f okay. Who's that? Okay. It's okay. Okay. Here, take my glove. I'm literally freaked the hell out right now. Yeah, Ohms. It literally looks like you walked into a wall. Oh, Where's that? Oh. Okay, so clean the lens and we need to. There's move. something moving all around us right now. It's picking this moment that we're stalled to move. Whatever it is, is here and it's moving. This light's starting to flicker and. No way, off. actually? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we need to go. Straight. One second. Okay. Okay, okay. Straight this way. Is the camera okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Did you get that on that camera? I, I think so. I was pointing the camera to you. I hope I did. Let's, let's just keep moving. We can talk about it after. I want to know if I saw like a mist or something. Catherine, are you here with us? Damn, dude. Keep going. There's footsteps everywhere. Damn, this is new. Talking about that OG shit. Oh my god, I feel this like we're is, so uh, far. Yeah, we might have to cut back, John. Oh, was that a growl? Oh, where do we go? Oh. Oh. Damn. This is bad. Yeah, I know. I just... We gotta make it to the road. I know, I'm trying. I'm trying to get it there. Here, let me go in front of you. Oh, shit. I have the light, okay? You good? Yes. Oh. Okay. I just wanna go. We need to go. What? We need to go. Run. Run now. We need to go. Ow. Dang it. We need to go. Just, we gotta get the fuck out of here. What just happened? The road's right there. Found the road? I think so. Is that it? Whoa! Do you hear that growling? There's a growl. Shit. Oh my god. Go, Charles, go, Charles, go, Charles. Oh. Oh. What the? F I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Dude, we're hearing stuff everywhere. Whoa, look at these new footprints. We didn't walk that way. No, nope. these are new footprints. We did not walk that way, we walked from the car. We walked from that way to there, yeah. not through this way. We did not go through this way. So who the hell is this? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, holy shit, there's two over. We gotta check the grave first. See if it's harmed. There's no way, now those are new. I don't see anything changed, I don't know, maybe. No. Nothing's changed. No. Okay. Catherine, we're gonna go. Thank you for communicating with us tonight. I hope you like your toy and I hope you stay safe here.
Frig, I, I, I don't... We're left with more answers again. I feel like this is the type of place we're never going to get concrete answers at. We, we did a giant loop. You know? We did a giant loop. But like, what? We gotta do at least a spirit box session. Then I we'll... think we need to get to the car. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, sweetheart. Go forward. Something just told me to go forward. Chels. She's getting freaked out. Chels. You want me to go forward? I'll go forward. One spirit. Okay. Okay. Who is the one spirit? I don't even know how to explain that experience. It was just like pure anxiety the whole time of warnings and just. I don't think we we're dealing with like. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I'm not an expert in this. I, I, I don't know, but I do know that there are Wendigos in this area and a lot of people that we've talked to who live in this area really do confirm that there's Wendigos and I don't even, I don't know. I honestly am left speechless. This guy, who just walked the in? Number five. The number five. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill her. I want to know who was down there in the forest with us. You able to answer me, please? Catherine, I don't mean you. I'm talking to someone else, okay? Oh, you're talking down there. Can you tell me who was the spirit down there that I saw? Or what was that? You cannot follow me, okay? For those of you who don't know, um, in my like spirituality and my mediumship, um, I get like a clock warning. So it just literally sounds like a clock, like tick, 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 tick. And it starts off slow and then it gets faster and faster and faster. And pretty much what is going faster is like you're running out of time, like you need to be leaving. So it's a message from my spirit guide and my spirit protectors that my time in this investigation is coming to an end and we're kind of overstepping. Um, that's what I'm getting right now is the clock is really ticking and we're very much overstepping. And I just, I don't want to be disrespectful to Catherine at all. I just, I, I really feel like something is fully holding her back. The heck, my braid came undone. Um... I just, I really feel like something is holding Catherine back. She just has like a pure energy and it just, at one point in the forest, it just stops and switches. I don't know. I don't know. Cause she like, she communicates with us and then at one point it's just gone. Like it's just, it stops. You can feel the shift in the energy and you can feel the pureness leave and the light go and like the dark take over the light. That's sketchy. 
That is so sketchy. Before I go, I want you to let me know who I'm talking to. I'm gonna go now, but I wanna know who I'm talking to first. Before I go, can something let me know? Hi. Who are you? Shit. Are you in the forest right now? Mary. Mary? Shit, something went dark here. I'm really trying, guys. Something went legitimately dark. What's that? Something's there. Sorry. All right. Can you make one more noise? Not you, Catherine, the other person. Gotta go. I get that feeling. Shit. What was that? Trapped. trapped. This thing just said trapped. This poor girl is trapped. I know. I was just talking about that too, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Psychic. <laughs> she said psychic. Get this car on and let's see, make sure it starts. Great, no Dawson. No light. No light. Shut that off. We got that. Phew. So, what the fuck? I don't know, but we need to film us leaving this road. Yeah. Just in case anything else happens. See my shadow. <sighs> so I want to make it abundantly clear for everyone watching here. Sometimes you get those investigations where we're trying to document things that you see. Everyone that does this, like often and constant will understand you do see stuff over time. Mm -hmm. But we always try and capture it on tape. I can't stress it enough that we try and capture what we see sometimes it doesn't happen but we try and do our best and i really hope one of our cameras caught that whatever we both experienced communication <sighs> catherine are you in our car whoa i'm next to you okay you can come for the ride but you can't follow us home catherine you have to stay on this road, okay? I'm sorry. Do you smell that? Like something like fruity. Like, um. Citrus? Not citrusy. Like strawberry, like fresh strawberries. Ash. Okay. This is like, Catherine seems like such a nice spirit child. She does. I don't get anything bad off of her other than the fact that, you know, people have heard her before. Manifest. But there's something else in this forest that lurks. That's like, it goes far beyond centuries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I don't think it's 
personally, and this is just my opinion, I don't think it's a family member or anyone holding her back. I think it's nothing related to her is holding her back, like something else. Something else that was brought here or found this realm. Or was here before Catherine. You know, like on this land before yeah. Catherine. Whoever is in here right now, you cannot attack us in our sleep, if that's what you're trying to say. Catherine, if you're here, you have to stay here, okay? Or try and make your way out once we hit the main road here, if that will help you not be trapped. If you're in here running away from the thing that is harming you, stay in with us and hop in out there. Maybe there's some other spirits that can help you out and protect you. I don't know if that's really how it works in the afterlife, but I have a feeling that there's something after we die that... I'm Vera down the road. We're talking to Catherine. Mm-hmm. Body. We're buried down the road and said body. Catherine, I know this is your way of saying that it's you. Stay in the car with us and we're, we're gonna drop you off on the main road there. Hop out or hop out with the next spirit so that you see. Maybe they can help you go somewhere else instead of being trapped where you are. I don't know if that's gonna help you, but do your best, please. We wanna help you out. I think we also need to be mindful of our dreams tonight. Yeah. There's also like a different feeling when you're investigating out in the open in the woods like this compared to like us renting a location or being in another location. Oh, this tops that. Yeah, because like in that other location, you have that security of no one else coming in. But here, anyone could be out here. Anything can be out here. In Animals, the... spirits, entities, spirits. Like, like cryptids, right? So there's so much that adds that extra like fear for the people who are out here especially the fact we're in the middle of nowhere yeah we like legitimately we're like we have no service arthur, arthur. arthur are you related to the land society society did you used to live here when you were alive, was this your society? Was, I feel like something's gonna pop out. You know what's weird though? I think I actually caught with my eyes, and I don't know about the camera, but I feel like I legitimately saw a spirit animal. Man, like, just like you saw mm -hmm. that one time go around that rock, uh, like dirt pile and it was a wolf yeah like an actual wolf that happened once like three four years ago and i think that's what i saw i mean the fact that we saw footprints where i saw that thing like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how do you explain that you know i don't know i don't know this is just our experiences guys if this is your first time on an episode with us that's all we give, is our full experiences. We could go into a spot, get scared, and come out. That's our experience. We're gonna post it for you guys. That's what this channel is about, giving you guys our haunted experiences in the paranormal world. Languidly. 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 Sounds like an old word. But sometimes you just, sometimes you just have those nights where you just don't know. Our whole channel will tell you that. There's so many different types of hauntings we deal with. I'm shaking. Like, yeah. I'm legitimately shaking right now. I just want to get out of here. That gust of wind, like, paralyzed my nerves. Like, I, I couldn't even react. I was that scared. And it was so narrow. It wasn't just a forest wind gust. It was, like, a narrow wind. Yeah, like, just the width of my body. That's so like, enough for whatever gusts to go through my body in my own mass. Catherine, if you're in the back seat here, just stick with us for now. Okay, we're back on the main road part. You okay? Yeah. I feel lighter now that we're like off of that road. You got touched too, huh? Yeah, someone like literally was like tapped me on the shoulder. I just kept getting like a lot of warnings. 
Yeah, that's fair. We tried our best, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we did. I don't know what to think of that experience. I think we're gonna have to just process it for a little bit and piece some stuff together. I wanna pop in on the vlog channel after, like, this week. I can't fathom, and I don't think my own words would ever, ever make anyone believe what I saw tonight. Oh my god. Like, it's spinning my head. Catherine, are you still in here with us? Roger. Who the fuck is Roger? We have our face and camera rolling right now. I just want to see for the rest of the road if potentially it could capture anything. Roger, who are you? A new guy named Roger just joined us. So for those of you guys who want us to come back in the future, whenever that may be, let's, if this video, if this video can get to 100 comments saying, recamp, we can recamp here. We'll, we'll pop up a tent again. Maybe we'll go deeper across that creek. But would you do that? Yeah, just not in the winter. No, not in the winter. Illness. Illness. If this can get a hundred comments, separate people commenting, we will camp here, recamp here, I should say, but we'll go even deeper. We will trek to the farthest point we can, and we will camp here once again. So, we're pretty much off that road right now. Thank goodness. Yeah, how are you feeling? So, no energy. That's how I feel, it's no energy. No energy. <laughs> um, I'm just relieved that we're off of that part of the road. Yeah. I Honestly, I just, I think I have to process. I think I have to process everything that happened and... Yeah. I, I don't even know. All right guys, so... He's in the back seat. He's in the back seat. He's in the. No. Who? Way. Roger or 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 the other man? He's in the back seat. Someone's in the back seat, like a a man. You can't come home with us. No, thank you. You cannot come home with us. We'll banish you, in some way, if you're a negative spirit. That is. Anyone's trying to message you about this man? I honestly, I'm, I, I'm tuning it all out because I'm just tired. Really? You yeah. haven't gotten any message about this? Man not, not tonight? right now. No. I mean, I've gotten other messages, like when we were back there, but I'm just drained. Yeah, the main road's up there, and I think we'll have to end off episode two of Portals Unknown. Damn. So that's it. That's it for this episode. I don't think we can do anything else to conclude an answer. He's in the backseat. Catherine's gone. I feel like that was her saying no energy. She mm -hmm. disappeared or yeah. went somewhere. And a man joined us. The fact that it said he's in the backseat. I'm just trying to process everything that went down. We're going to have to end it off here. I'll pop it on the vlog channel. And we can elaborate there. But if you guys have been missing our series so far, this is episode two. Episode three is on route. Just want to let you guys know if you guys have been missing the series or our episodes in general, subscribe to this channel. Make sure your notification bells are on so you guys get notified for every single video that we post. Follow our vlog channel. The link down below is my Instagram group chat. Go follow me on Instagram for instant posts. Literally. Everything's in the description below. If you guys want to stay tuned with our lives, follow everything there. Everything is free. Um, if you want to become a member, you guys get exclusive access to everything. But other than that, everything else is free. We give you guys updates on everything. And I just want you guys to be notified when you guys want content. And we give you content all the time. So 
With all that being said, this adventure is now over. That's it. On to the next. On to the next. Do not go to the next adventure, but we're still gonna go to the next adventure. Did I get that? Yeah, that did. Oh my god. What do we do? We go? We go. <laughs> oh gosh. This is happening and we tried to literally stay as long as we can. We're gonna have to go. I'm sorry for whoever said that, we're gonna have to. 100 comments, guys. 100 comments saying hashtag noodles if you want us to go back, all right? Hashtag noodles, that's all you gotta do. Let's go. <laughs> Damn, dude.